You know, when Barry White said too much of anything is not good for you, he must have forgot about when. The Alcorn State Braves making it three trips in a row to Houston. Can't get enough of that swag love. Sports anchor Ashley Shamity, she made the trek to the reservation and has the title game covered. It hasn't been easy after losing over two dozen players and battling injuries all season long. The Alcorn State Braves have made it to a title game for a third straight year. Deja vu in a sense because both Grambling and Alcorn State met in this exact same situation last year. But first year head coach Fred McNair says in a year's time, they've completely changed. When you lose 26 football players from last year and then you come in and, and you're having to start so many freshmen this year and, and battle with the injuries that we have, yeah, it, it has changed. And, and the, the mindset of the guys is still there of trying to win another strike championship is still there. But, you know, we just have to overcome a whole lot. And uh, I think the guys are, they're, 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 that was up for the challenge and, and made it through it, you know. So here we are now, you know, going back to Houston to get ready to play for another strike championship. Just the same as last year, the Braves faced Grambling in the regular season and lost, but ended up beating them in the SWAC championship game. Hence that feeling of deja vu. In a sense, because, you know, we lost to them in the regular season last year too. We lost to them this year, and now we're both ending up back in the championship. So we're trying to have the same outcome in the championship this year too. We're ready to go. You know, we just hopefully we had the same turnout we did last year. Like I said, we're just, we're just ready to go. And before the season even started, the idea of a three-peat was thrown around, which raised expectations even more for the entire program. Well, that, that was from day one, expectation from day one. You know, you, you win back-to-back -back championships, and, and then now you're a new head coach coming in, and, and you think about the expectation of the, of the, of the previous uh, coach that's been here, you know, it's always high. So uh, you, you think about that and, you, and try to get these players to understand what the expectations are and getting them to fulfill everything that you have to perform to do. There's been a quarterback battle for this title game as well. The vet Lenore's footman and the redshirt freshman Noah Johnson. No word yet on Saturday's starter. Well, right now, it's still in the making right now. We Both of the guys are doing well at practice, and uh, we're just going to keep them going and see how it works out, and, and, you know, we'll make a game day decision. Regardless of the starter, they're just looking to do one thing come Saturday. Win. <laughs> That's it. Just win. In Lorman, Ashley Shamady, 16 WAPT Sports. Yeah, kickoff for that game is 2 p.m. Saturday. You can watch it on ESPN.